Hi, I'm Karmi Shammas. I'm your astrologer. Today I'll talk about Friday, the 25th of June. Today the moon is in Capricorn. It's a great day if you're Capricorn, Taurus, if you're Virgo, also if you're Pisces and Scorpio. How is it going to be for all signs, starting with Aries, under the influence of the full moon in Capricorn, you may feel a little bit um, uh, uh, very meticulous and efficient and you may feel a little bit um, uh, stressed uh, out probably because you have something to hand out. Maybe you have a paper, maybe there's a presentation or maybe there's a, a work interview, you know. Uh, so it can be anything, job interview, whatever it is, try not to ruin the possibility of a big success. Taurus, it's a happy day, one of the best days during this week and I think you can accomplish a lot and even more than a lot. Today is a day that will make you the star of everything, depending if you have done your homework or not. So um get on with it especially if you're watching this video the day before so go get on with it you're going to be surprised happily surprised let's move now to uh, gemini i think gemini is today you need to know that certain issues need uh, compromise certain issues need flexibility like talking to people asking favors probably you were not you were not that flexible before so today uh, you face the facts so uh, just put your pride aside brush it aside and tell yourself that it would be a good idea if you started saying hello to people especially people that you may need one day so today be flexible enjoy a great possibility of something happening something positive happening Let's move now to Cancer with the moon, full moon in the, um, in the house of partners. It is most probable that uh, you may meet someone, you get to meet someone, you get to talk to someone about a possibility of a new work or a, a possibility of new partnership. It can be romantic, it can be a marital thing, or it can be something that has to do with uh, any kind of, uh, of, uh, uh, of joint effort. So today, Cancer, you may even feel a little bit uptight uh, because the other party seems to be strong. This is what you attract today. Your job is to avoid getting into trouble. Your job now is to make sure that you don't lose whatever you have. So be flexible and say hi and say hello and say yes, okay, no problem, let me think about it. That's how you get on with it. Let's move now to Leo. Leo, this is a good day to uh, reorganize your priorities, especially those related to health, to mental health, to physical health, and maybe to some uh, daily routine. You really need to be flexible about it. You really need to be very clear about it. There are some priorities that cannot be moved and also the time you wake up and the time you go to bed. This is going to be very important um, for about, uh, let me see, about two weeks minimum. Uh, today, because planet Mars is, in, is still in your sign, you have to be extremely careful if you were born on the 31st of July, the 1st of August. Let's move now to Virgo. Virgo, this is a beautiful day, very accomplishing, very rewarding, very empowering. It's one of the most important days in this week, maybe also in this month. So what you have to do actually is, uh, uh, is uh, make things happen. Don't sit uh, crossing your arms, your hands. You have to be moving. You have to be organizing your stuff. Uh, your relations, your work, your routine, and it's going to be a gorgeous day. One of the most beautiful days and you will not regret it. Let's move now to Libra. Libra, you may feel a little bit um, worried about maybe your son, your daughter, or your family member, or maybe you have um, to travel to book a, 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 a plane or whatever it is. There is something that is on your mind and it's, it keeps bugging you. So you have to think well about it, take it easy, be positive about it, and it will move very positively. But if you're going to really drown yourself in self-pity, it will not work out. So live the moment, be happy and enjoy a beautiful, important, decisive day. Uh, you can be very lucky if you were born on the 5th, 6th or even 7th of October. Let's move now to Scorpio. I think Scorpios today are very empowered, very strong, very powerful, very motivated. You have all the best of ideas to uh, enjoy a beautiful, successful day. 
uh, at school, at uni, at, uh, at work, at the office, wherever you are socially, you're so open-minded, you attract a lot of, uh, of, uh, of cameras, of attention. This is a beautiful day. Uh, try not to um, uh, overreact. Uh, when people make mistakes or when you want to send out some comments or observations, try to calm down. Uh, because it seems that your energy is too strong and some people may feel uh, intimidated by it. Let's move now to Sagittarius. I think Sagittarians today are happy with what's going on. You can succeed, you can actually get over any problem you encountered in the near past. I think today is a good day to negotiate or renegotiate rene some deals if you haven't signed, it, signed them yet. Um, it's very important to be on the safe side. It's very important to know what's ahead for you. Always make, an, make answers, always demand, always ask, always make sure that you understand things. Don't leave things to ambiguity. You have to know everything that's going on. Let's move now to Capricorn with the moon, full moon in your sign. This takes place once a year. It seems as if you're celebrating a new birthday. It seems as if you're celebrating some good news and most probably you will get some good news. I think today is a brilliant day for a makeup, for a makeover, for a new start. You decide. Aquarius, it's a slow day. Nothing seems to move this day. Everything seems to be stalling. Everything is on, on low fire. You may even feel frustrated or you may even feel isolated. Uh, you may have some negative ideas crossing your mind. I think you have to actually mind your own business. Uh, stay away from trouble, stay away from negative people, from people who are screaming, shouting, looking for problems. Um, I think you have to wait till Saturday uh, to 10 p.m universal time that's when the moon reaches your sign so that's a long wait but you have to be patient otherwise you'll get yourself in problems especially if you were born on the first or second of february moving now to pisces it can be a happy strong positively strong day you can influence everyone positively you can actually be the winner in any competition uh, you have a great smile, you have a great presence, and I think you can move mountains today. So go ahead and enjoy a super wonderful, beautiful day. Uh, you can be extremely lucky if you were born on the 20th, 21st of February. So basically, this is it. I wish you all a great day and see you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye-bye.